जी प्लीज اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا استعینوا بالصبر والصلاة ان اللہ مع الصابرین ولا تقولوا لمن یقتل فی سبیل اللہ اموات بل احیاء ولیکن لا تشعرون ولنبلونکم بشیء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الاموال والانفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرین الذین اذا اصابتهم مصیبہ قالوا انا للہ و انا الیہ راجعون ترجمہ اے ایمان والو صبر اور نماز کے ذریعے اللہ سے مدد چاہو اللہ تعالیٰ صبر والوں کا ساتھ دیتا ہے اور اللہ کی راہ میں مرنے والے شہیدوں کو مردہ مت ہو کہ وہ زندہ ہیں لیکن تم سمجھتے نہیں اور ہم لازمان کسی نہ کسی طرح تمہاری ازمائش کریں گے دشمن کے ڈر سے بھوک پیاس سے مال و جان اور پھلوں کے نقصان سے اور ان ازمائشوں میں صبر کرنے والوں کے لیے خوشخبری ہے پس جنہیں جب بھی کوئی مسئیبت آئے تو کہہ دیا کرتے ہیں اِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجُونَ کہ ہم تو خود اللہ تعالیٰ کی ملکیت ہیں اور اسی کی طرف ہمیں لوٹ کے جانا ہے تو اسی مرکزی خیال پہ ایک چھوٹی سی نظم میں نے لکھی تھی رتبہ شہید راہ حق میں جو کریں گھاٹی شہادت کی عبور راہ حق میں جو کریں گھاٹی شہادت کی عبور بارگاہ عزدی میں ہے مقرب و تہور ان کو مردہ نہ کہو جو فی سبیل اللہ مریں ان کو مردہ نہ کہو جو فی سبیل اللہ مریں وہ تو زندہ ہیں مگر تم نہیں رکھتے شعور ان کو ان کے رب کی جانب سے ملے رزق قریم شادہ و فرحان و راضی ہیں وہ اللہ کے حضور کاش جانے میری قوم بولا جنت میں شہید مغفرت کے ساتھ ہے اکرام و نعمت اور سرور جو راہ حق میں زندگی قربان کرتے ہیں زیاہ ہے موت ان کی در اصل عبدی حیاتی کا ظہور شکریہ وما علینا اللہ البلاغ تینکیو ایمار ڈار صاحب جزاک اللہ Let me introduce myself. This is me, Nadeem Ahmad, representing ADCO, the House of Quality Medicine. Now I welcome our distinguished guest, Professor P.S. Mahar and Professor Ziaul Mazari Sahib. Here I would like to tell, I would like to tell you brief about WOFA, which is an Australia, UAE and Pakistan based virtual ophthalmic academy. WOFA is an idea to create a unique learning and teaching platform for ophthalmic professionals. WUFA aim to capitalize the potential of online presence, engagement and collaboration at its full fullest. And ADCO is gold partner of WUFA in this noble journey. Now I, I want to introduce our speaker, Professor P.S. Mahar, who is renowned glaucoma specialist of Pakistan, Professor of Al Khan University Hospital and Isra Postgraduate Institute, Karachi, and also the President of Pakistan Glaucoma Association. Now over to Professor P.S. Mahar for the presentation titled Compliance in Glaucoma. Sir, apna camera enable kijiye please. Professor Mahar sahab, sir, assalamu alaikum, apna camera enable kijiye. That's fine. Now we can see you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, first of all, I am thankful to Nadeem and the Iraqi Opera Eco Company, which has, uh, who have invited me to give this talk. And uh, as you see on the screen, uh, the topic is compliance and glaucoma. Why compliance in glaucoma? Because glaucoma is a, such a dangerous disease which causes irreversible blindness. And if you don't use your medicine, 
then we know that uh, you're going to have a problems. So this is the reason. What are the issues and how can we help our patients? Now, the formal U.S. Surgeon General says that compliance is the extent to which patient takes medication as prescribed by the healthcare provider. So basically, it's a treatment alliance between patient and doctor. And the interesting thing is that drugs don't work in patients who don't take them. So we see a patient who is high pressure is out of control. So a patient says, I use them. And then you know what happens. Drugs don't work because the patient is not using it. Glaucoma is the second leading cause of blindness worldwide. Ocular topical medications are given in almost 94% of the time. Ocular hypotensor treatment, it delays the progression of the visual loss. So compliance with anti-glucoma medication is an important factor in prevention of visual impairment. The absence of symptoms in untreated cases increases the risk of non-compliance. And a non-compliance with topical therapy can result in unnecessarily switching to other drugs or surgical procedure with added risk and cost. The reported proportion of non-compliance runs between 4.6% to 80%. Depends upon the area where the patients are seen, their educational background, their affluency, and a lot of factors which determines this percentage. Now, if you look at what Koss and Norrell says that they were using monitoring devices and they found out the large number of patients, they missed considerable amount of drops. The doses of drugs registered by medical monitors were lower than that obtained by interviews. The morning doses were instilled regularly while majority of afternoon doses were missed. And there was inadequate spacing of drops between noon and evening doses. Constants in looking at 100 patients uh, in his glaucoma clinic in Greece found out that 51% patients were not aware of the nature of the disease. Unko pata hi nahi tha ki what is this all about? And they did not know the extent of damage that glaucoma causes. 44% missed more than two doses per week. And men and those patients using eye drops more than four times a day were more likely to defer. So this may be Margaret Raj, who is a problem. Ladies, who is a problem, maybe Jada, Abu Dalti, and they can Margaret Raj. Now, okay, in his landmark uh, uh, paper, found out that the 56% patient used more than 75% of the expected doses, while Don Strong found that only 50% of glaucoma patients have refill of their medication within six months of initial dosing in the United States. So what happens in the United States is that when your practitioner gives you the medicine, then there's a prescription for refill. And then the pharmacy uh, expect that you will come for the refill. And these data are taken from them because they never come and get their refill drops. So in the United States, poor compliance costs over 100 billion USDs, which results in 1,25,000 excess deaths and causes 20% of all hospitalization. Poor compliance with medical and surgical treatment recommendation has increased glaucoma progression compared to glaucoma compliance to 50% versus 10%. Now, glaucoma compliance is difficult to measure. Why? Because the patient overstayed their level of compliance. Unfortunately, intraocular pressure is a poor indicator for compliance as patients commonly increase their medicines before visiting their eye physician. But when you look at various scans and visual field and even the vision, you find out that there is and there's a loss of vision and then deterioration and various uh, factors. Now, this is the patient's perspective why they are non compliant. Now, 24% patients say they sometimes forgot to use a refill. 20% patients say they don't want the side effects. 17% shows the drug costs too much. 14% says don't think I need the drug. 10% can't get prescription filled, picked up, or delivered. And then 1% don't know how to use the drug. And there were 10% other causes. And if you look at the physician's uh, perspective, 
there was inadequate communication, complex staging, expensive drugs, and their patients have medical comorbidities such as arthritis and dementia. What it, they do is the patient forgets about the dosage, and number one, they cannot instill the drops in their eyes because of the problem with their hands. Why glaucoma patients do not use drops? First thing is low patient education. It's a poor knowledge about the disease. People think there's a low risk of visual loss and the symptomless nature of disease is the main problem because you see what happens is if you've got a glaucoma starting, patient doesn't have any symptoms. If the cataract is start, patient complains of visual problems. So, the problem is not coming to the doctor, they say that they don't have any problem. And then, glaucoma commonly occurs in patients who are in that age group where cataract is common. So, patient attributes decrease in vision in old age due to cataract. And I can tell you my personal experience, several patients over the years have been coming to me, I have a cataract, I have to examine it, I have to look at it, I have to And when you look at the patient, you find out it's not a cataract, they are suffering from glaucoma and they have lost almost chunk of their vision. Is the cost of the medication. Now, the aged patients have multiple medical and surgical problems. Other members of the family have also medical disorder, especially their wives. And the adding of ocular medication add to the cost. So, see, if 60 year old man, you are prescribing one drug or two drugs, it costs them 1000 bucks or 1500. He is diabetic, he is taking diabetic medicine, he is hypertensive, he is taking hypertensive medicines. He's got other uh, illness, and then his spouse, his wife or husband has the same problem. So, you can see that the bill is going to be even in the present scenario, you can see that the bill is going to be used. And then, as a physician, we prescribe them multiple drugs as well as multiple dosage. Now, there's an inverse relationship between number of daily doses and the rate of the client. And I'm going to show you some. Uh, very nice figures. Now, patients on glaucoma therapy more than twice a day show worse compliance. So, you have to be very careful when you give a patient multiple medicine, the two of the four of the four of the there is a problem. People with anything beyond one or two medicines show poor compliance. Now, this was a work done long time ago by Surat Patel and he found out that patients who were using only one medicine in glaucoma, they were only 49% compliant. And this is amazing. compliance to 49%. But when you increase the medicine from one drops to two drops, the compliance rate comes down and it is 32%. And then multiple drug and multiple dosage have washout effects. And because patients have tendency to use the medicine at the same time. So, if you give them a prostaglandin and analog, M1 or the beta blockers or alpha agonist, there's a tendency they will put all the drops together. So, there's a washout effect. That's the reason that the cumulative effect of medicine is lost. Now, this is the work published and it showed that the washout effect can have loss of the drug 45% when there is interval of 30 seconds between medicines. But when you increase this 30 second interval to two minutes, you can see the loss of first drug effect is only 17%. But if you time ko five minutes and you put the second and you put second medicine, you see five minute interval hold on. So this is the reason we always tell patients okay, when you are using two medicine, the, the time interval between Two medicines should be between more than five minutes and should be between 10 to 15 minutes. Now, this is another one, and you can see the mean IOP reduction in millimeters of mercury. Now, this is a statistically significant difference in IOP between zero and two minutes and between zero and five minutes. But there's no significant difference between two and five minutes. So, idea is that you can space space. And then there are side effects related to the preservative. Now we understand that the majority of the glaucoma medicine are still using uh, have a, a benzoconium chloride as the preservative, and then side effects related not only to the drugs themselves but as well as to this uh, preservatives. And that's the reason patient is not keen to use these medicines. 
So there's an overview of mechanistic effect of benzoyl chromium, which is the common uh, preservative used in the medicine, especially in this country on the ocular surface. So when you use the topical Benzirconium, it causes problem with your tear film. So there's a tear film instability. It leads to the enconeal and conjectival epithelial cell damage. That leads to loss of epithelial cell, cell integrity and then goes to the epithelial apoptosis and loss of corneal permeability barrier. And then there's a loss of goblin cell and decreased mucus production. And then all of these things end up with the increased inflammatory response. So this is the effect of pentaconium on the conjectiva. You can see compared with the control. And then when you keep on increasing, even the minute concentration of the benzylconium has effect. And then if you increase it to 0.01%, you see the damage is almost 90%. Now, a lot of time the people they will come and they tell you, okay, we are not using benzylconium but you are using other things. Now, this is the slide which will tell you that this medicine can have sodium perborate, methyl pabamon, chrome, butanol, and then there's a PAK, and then other one. Now, every, and I'm repeating, all these agents, preservative agents, have a problem. Some less, some more. And also, it depends on the concentration of the preservative used in these drops. So then let's talk about the side effect of the drug. Now there are local uh, problems, local effects. Now we know that parasympathomimetic alpha agonists cause allergic reaction. Prostaglandin analog cause red eyes. Prostaglandin analog also give you dark circles around the eyes. And especially if your patients are ladies, females, they don't like seeing dark circles around their eyes. And then beta blocker take them. They have a lot of systemic problems, which are related to their cardiovascular system. They get bronchial spasm, there's a loss of libido, and then there's a depression. And sometimes we put patient on temelol, beta blockers, and we forget to ask that question. I think it's sometimes imperative that you ask patient direct question, okay? That what is happening with your, are you depressed? What's happening? You think that you are enjoying your lifestyle? Are you happy as a partner with your spouse? These questions sometimes patients do not come and tell you. So you have to ask direct questions. I already said age of patient is important because patient who is in their 70s and 80s have dementia and arthritis and there is no availability of attendant. Some people pass no or these ladies do not have a job. Do you think it is important? Yes. You want to talk to these patients and ask them. Do you have home help? If you don't have home help, you have help. So you have to learn how to do it. You have to find out. Maybe social service available, you have to make sure that you organize such service. I think it's important that you talk to your patient. Just say, I have to 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 your patient. You need to have a good rapport with your patient. You need to spend some extra time with group more patients. And then you have to understand, you have to involve the family. What is this all about? So after time and sometime when I'm seeing this patient, family Let's talk. And then you tell them slowly and gradually. Pehli baat hai ki ye nahi kena ke aap, you are going to get blind. I've seen some of my colleagues getting very blunt statement. Nahi, yes, you baat nahi hai. Dekhe? Diabetes bhi hoti hai na. So we tell them, look, you don't use sugar lowering drugs. Kya hota hai? Unko neuropathy hogi, unko uh, eye mein problem hogi. Dekhe? If you control your sugar, nothing is going to happen. The same thing is here. Don't tell them, don't give them this news ke aap to agli paans saal ke baat ta ho jayenge. इसलिए जरूरी है कि आप उनके साथ बैठे उनको समझाएं कि आपके साथ क्या प्रॉब्लम है 
और वाई यू वॉन्ट टू इन्वॉल्व दिस हैंडी तुमको बताएं कि जी जो मेडिसिन आप दे रहे हैं इसका क्या रोल है बिकॉज इज द इंट्रॉपर प्रेशर प्लस वी आर ट्रीटिंग इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द केसेज सो बताएं कि जी ये इंट्रॉपर प्रेशर है ये इसकी सेफ लिमिट है दवा डालेंगे प्रेशर कम रहेगा आपकी विशन स्टेबल रहेगी अगर आप ये नहीं डालेंगे तो प्रेशर बढ़ जाएगा एंड दिस कैन लीड टू प्रॉब्लम इज दिस नॉट सेम थिंग फॉर दी हेपर टेंशन अगर आपका ब्लड प्रेशर आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल है दवा नहीं डालेंगे यू कैन एंड अप एन दी हार्ट अटैक और स्टो सेम थिंग इज हेपर सोची Now, this disease is not different from other chronic disorders. So verbally we say both hai, and then aajkal internet ka zamana hai. We tell them that go and find out on the internet, Google karein information le, dawa kya hai, uske side effects kya hai, and then lot of hospital. We at our university hospital, uh, even in Israel, we got a brochure. So there's a printed material available. Agar nahi hai aur aap glaucoma ka bulk dekhte hain, volume dekhte hain, it doesn't cost too much. Aur aap ब्रोशर के उनको कहें जी मैंने आपको समझा दिया ये ब्रोशर घर जाके पढ़े एंड देन इफ यू गट क्वेश्चन यू आर वेलकम टू कम बैक जब आप उनको दो तीन हफ्ते के बाद बुलाते हैं आफ्टर द फर्स्ट इनिशियल ट्रीटमेंट आप उनको समझाएं और उनके और सवाल जो होते हैं उसका जवाब दें नाउ यू हैव टू टेलर थेरापेटिक रिजीन टू सूट पेशेंट लाइफ स्टाइल आप मरीज कहता है जी बहुत सारे मरीज होते हैं जो इंडस्ट्रियल एरियाज में काम करते हैं वो कहते हैं जी मैं तो सारा दिन घर में सोता रहता हूँ रात को काम करता हूँ अब आप ये कहते हैं कि ये जो प्लास्टिक लेने ला के रात को डालना है मैं तो रात को काम करता हूँ तो जरूरी है हम पूछ से पूछें भाई आप करते क्या हैं इज इट पॉसिबल कि आप इसको सुबह को डालें नहीं है तो वी नो दैट प्लास्टिक लेने पुटिंग इन द मॉर्निंग एंड इवनिंग हैव सेम इफेक्ट तो आप उनको बता दें कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता सर आप शाम को नहीं डाल सकते दस बजे क्योंकि आप काम पे होते हैं आप सुबह को जब काम से घर आ जाते हैं तो उस वक्त आप नहीं करें अवॉइड मल्टीपल डोजेज अगर प्रेशर जो है कंट्रोल में है यू स्टार्ट विद मोनोथेरेपी एंड देन गिव पेशेंट लीस्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स रिजीन विद लीस्ट डिस्ट्रप्शन ऑफ लाइफ स्टाइल बातचीत करना जरूरी है अगेन उसी पे आ जाते हैं कि मरीज करता क्या है उसकी लाइफ स्टाइल में आपकी जो मेडिसिन है कैसे सूट करती है इंश्योर पेशेंट अंडरस्टैंड करेक्ट ड्रॉप इंस्टोलेशन सम ड्रॉप्स लीव बैक टेस्ट इन द माउथ अगर आप टॉपिकल कार्बोनिक एनहाइड्रेस यूज करते हैं तो इट यूज यू मेटालिक टेस्ट बिकॉज दिस अ कार्बोनिक एनहाइड्रेस प्रेजेंट इन योर बकल मिकोजा तो जब आप ये यूज करते हैं मेडिसिन तो आपको मेटालिक टेस्ट होती है हाउ डू यू अवॉइड इट तो आपने उनको डेमो देना है कि आप दवा जब डालें दैट टू थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू इट दैट इट डजेंट रीच योर नेजल म्यूकोजा और योर ओरल म्यूकोजा दिस वन थिंग इज दैट यू अप्लाई प्रेशर ऑन योर पंकम और वहां पे उसको प्रेस करके रखें फॉर वन मिनट और टू मिनट्स एंड द अदर थिंग इज टिश्यू प्रेस मेथड टिश्यू प्रेस मेथड ये एक आपने ड्रॉप डाला और उसके बाद अपनी आंख बंद कर दी ठीक है उससे क्या होगा इज नॉट गोइंग टू ड्रेन इट इन टू दी पंक्टा एंड एक टिश्यू लेके अपनी आंख के बाहर रखने तो जो दवा बाहर आ गई है एक्स्ट्रा वो उसमें एब्सॉर्व हो जाएगी एंड यू एम्फरसाइज अगेन एंड अगेन दैट यू हैव स्पेस द ड्रॉप टू मिनिमाइज वॉश आउट इफेक्ट नाउ यू नो सी रिगार्डिंग दॉस्ट ऑफ द मेडिसिन द पेशेंट आर रिलेक्टेड एंड एम्बेस टू एडमिट नॉन अफोर्डेबिलिटी वो हमारे सामने बैठ के ये नहीं कहते हैं कि आपने उनको दवा लिख दी तो ये दवा है पंद्रह सौ रुपए की है आज कल जमाने में वो दवा जो थी दो हजार रुपए की हो जाएगी तो मरीज आपको कहेगा आप नहीं कहेगा आपके सामने कि सर मैं नहीं अफोर्ड कर सकता तो ये भी जरूरी है कि बताएं आपको पता होना चाहिए कि ये जो दवाएं हैं ये कितना पास करती है और आजकल कोई इश्यू नहीं है जो बाहर की दवाएं आती है बिल्कुल सिमिलर कंपाउंड आर मेड ऑल्सो लोकली तो अगर प्रोस्टाकलॉल बाहर से आती है तो लोकल भी बनती है कॉम्बिनेशन मोलॉल की और अल्फाइगनस की अगर आती है तो वो भी लोकली बनती है तो पूछे कि नहीं बाहर की दवा जो है लेकिन लोकल दवा जो मिलती है आपको छह सात सौ रुपए की मिल जाएगी इट विल कट द कॉस्ट ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट अगर आपके पास हॉस्पिटल में असिस्टेंट प्रोग्राम आप उनको भी कर सकते हैं यू नो फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनीज आर वेरी हेल्पफुल ठीक है वॉट आई डू इन मै ग्लुकमा क्लिनिक से मेरी जो प्रैक्टिस है ना बट इंटरेस्टिंग Okay, one side pe I work in our own hospital where where two people come. On the other end, I go a couple of times to a place in Delhi called Istra Post Grad Institute. Yahan pe bari log aate hain. Unko pata hai ki yahan kaun ka doctor hai. Main wahan pe glucose monitoring kar raha hoon. Main abhi tak ek pharmaceutical company dekhna chahta hoon jisko maine kaha hai ki aap dawaiyan de aur unhe mujhe refuse kiya. They supply the medicine, that antibiotics, steroids, artificial tears. ग्लूकोमा दवाएं फ्री देते हैं हम ये दवाएं मरीजों को फ्री देते हैं क्योंकि हमें पता है कि वो पेशेंट ये दवा अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते मैं फिर से वही दोहराता हूं कि किसी कंपनी ने नहीं कहा कि हम आपको फ्री दवाएं नहीं देंगे और उनको पता है कि डॉक्टर ने अपने पर्सनल यूज के लिए तो नहीं किया मैंने मरीजों को देना है 
particularly and then hospitals have various programs like Afghan has got welfare program, Israq Gilead has a uh, Zakat program. So find out if your hospital has such program or you can help them help them to afford it. Because if you have seen a patient for 50 years, which you have to put in a glucoma, then it will not be the case for the next 15-20 years. And then you have seen this before, that you have to have blood pressure, you have to have blood pressure, you have to have blood खुद को भी है वाइफ को भी है हो सकता है उनकी फैमिली में इस कंबाइंड फैमिली लिविंग टुगेदर तो इट इंक्रीज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द मेडिसिन सो जस्ट टू कंक्लूड पूर कंप्लायंस विद ग्लूकोमा मेडिकेशन इज कॉमन इट इंक्रीजेस अनफॉर्चूनेटली इट इंक्रीजेस द रिस्क ऑफ डिसमेंट एंड ब्लाइंडनेस एंड वी नीड टू डेवलप सम मैकेनिज्म डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट टू मेजर कंप्लायंस इन पेशेंट्स विद ग्लूकोमा to avoid unnecessary changes in patients' therapeutic regimes. I thank you for listening today. Last slide. So, Nadeem Nikai, if anybody has any question, I am very happy to answer. Sir, मैं देख रहा हूँ मदरी साहब मुस्कुरा रहे हैं। थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर एक्सीलेंट प्रेजेंटेशन। थैंक यू सर यू वेलकम। आई एम ऑनर्ड टू प्रेजेंट लॉन्ग विथ आइकॉनिक फिगर ऑफ प्रोफेसर पीएस महर। दैट्स व्हाई आई एम स्माइलिंग। सलाम अलैकुम डॉक्टर सर यही है मैं।